I'm Captain Intrigue. Let's add an illuminated chest insignia and an LED billboard to my armor. I am Captain Intrigue. A few months ago, I began wearing my superhero armor while riding my electric unicycle in public, and something happened that I hadn't expected. People started waving, saying hi, and a lot of people began filming me with their phones as I rode by. It's not really feasible or practical for me to stop and talk with so many people, nor do I have a desire to. This got me thinking that there are probably many photos and videos scattered across social media of a guy dressed as a superhero riding a wheel, and yet most of them probably have no idea who I am or that I have a YouTube channel and a fully functional superhero suit. I saw this experience as a terrible missed opportunity since anyone interested enough to film me might also be interested in watching my videos and possibly subscribing. After pondering this problem for a few days, I decided that superheroes should absolutely have their names and websites printed somewhere on their suits. This would allow any onlookers to Google the name or go immediately to YouTube or a website to learn more. This idea seems so incredibly simple and yet I can't recall a single comic book superhero who ever had their name on their costume. If you know of any examples please leave a comment below. So I decided to build an illuminated sign with my name and YouTube logo and a scrolling LED sign with my website address. Stick around until the end to see the final result in action. Now if videos or photos of my armor appear on social media then hopefully people can see the sign and look me up. In the future I plan to travel to different areas of the country and continue my real life superhero adventures so this sign will help spread my message and gain subscribers as I travel hopefully I've been working on a new weapons backpack for the armor, so I decided to just incorporate the sign onto that. I previously built a weapons backpack for this Mark III armor, but I wasn't happy with the results, so I never finished it. The new improved backpack will contain the flamethrower, voice changer, and a power source. This design is one solid structure with the sign on the outside, leaving room inside for the rest of the components. For the sign, I designed a graphic and had it made into a sticker attached to a polycarbonate sheet at a local sign shop. I made it as big as possible on the backpack and included a YouTube logo. I backlit the sign with super bright white LEDs so it's visible even in daylight. I installed the scrolling LED sign and programmed it with a website address. Depending on your eyesight it's easily visible from 30 to 50 feet away which is perfect since I'll be moving on my wheel as I pass by people. My hope was to make the sign easy to read from a distance as I ride past pedestrians. I wanted the lettering to be clearly visible during daylight so I used high contrast white letters on a black background. I built the backpack from a sheet of polycarbonate, aluminum, and 3D printed parts. The backpack is attached to the suit of armor using an array of nine neodymium magnets and specially designed 3D printed sockets. The magnets are mounted inside the sockets and the sockets all line up to lock into place. Each magnet has 17 pounds of holding force to keep the pack firmly in place, but I decided to add some safety straps just in case. I added backpack style straps similar to the ones worn by Captain America that hold his shield. I'm able to fasten them by myself and they hold the backpack securely in place. The backpack can be easily removed by unbuckling the straps and pulling up firmly on each corner of the pack to unseat the magnets one at a time. It connects to the suit electrically through these two connectors. It might be overkill but I used a 7.4 volt 5000 milliamp hour rechargeable LiPo battery as the power source. My suit uses very little power but the LEDs are very bright and require a moderate amount of electricity to run for two hours straight. My chest insignia is an important visual centerpiece for the armor and since I was already making a lighted sign, I decided to also make a lighted chest insignia. This logo will greatly enhance the theatrical effect of seeing my armor at night. So I backlit it with white LEDs and added blue LEDs behind the insignia for accent lighting. The insignia connects to magnetic power sockets in the suit and those sockets are connected to the backpack battery to power the insignia LED lights. It's also quick and easy to remove. And here's the final result. Now that the backpack is built, I'll be installing the voice changer and flamethrower next, so stay tuned for that. In the future, I might swap out the magnet magnet system for velcro. I don't really like how the magnet mounts on the suit stick out an inch from the back and velcro would be much slimmer. I may modify it later but for now I decided to just get it done. 
Perfectionism is the arch enemy of any creator. It's better to just get it done and make it work because we can always go back and make improvements or refinements later in the future. Having a finished product that's 80% perfect is better than not having anything finished at all because you insisted on it being perfect. Which option do you prefer? The magnet mounts or the velcro? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I've been amazed at how many incredible ideas I've received in the comments and I added many of them to my to-do list. Some will eventually even be incorporated into the suit so please keep commenting below with your thoughts and suggestions and click on this video if you want to see how I made the Mark III armor. Thanks for watching.